Hi everybody, it's Karen from Scrappy Connect Studios and I'm here today for May Arts Ribbon to share with you a little tutorial on creating these really beautiful uh, little flowers out of this adhesive flag ribbon. This is a new product available at May Arts right now. And I love how versatile it is. Um, I use it to create these little flowers, but you can use this ribbon on all sorts of different projects. Uh, one of the great features of it is actually that it's adhesive, and maybe I'll just show you on the on the dark navy one here so you can see a little bit better. But if you peel off the back, there's actually a sticky coating on the back that makes it really easy to adhere to any project. Quick and easy trim that you can layer on scrapbook layouts or cards or whatever the case may be. But the other great thing about it is that it's a great shape and you can use it to create all sorts of other types of embellishments as well. So what I'm going to show you today is how to create this little poinsettia sort of themed flower. This ribbon comes in all sorts of different colors. These are just some of the ones that I have on hand, but you need to check out the website to see everything that May Arts has available. The other thing I wanted to show you is this leaves ribbon and it's the perfect size to actually go with these flowers. So I used it on the back of this flower here as another kind of added layer to this embellishment. So let's talk about what you're going to need to create this particular uh, little flower. First thing is a really good pair of scissors that cuts ribbon easily. A little piece of cardstock cut into a circle. This one's a one inch punch circle. It can be bigger, a little bit smaller, it doesn't really matter and it doesn't need to be a perfect circle either. You're going to need something for the middle. I'm going to use this liquid pearls to create kind of these beads in the middle of the flower. But the cool thing is you can use a button or anything just to finish off the middle. You will have to cover up this middle though with something. So you're going to want to find something that would work for you, even like a little jeweled uh, button like this one here. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you need except for the ribbon. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is pre-cut all of your little triangles. So all you do is you just take your ribbon and just cut them apart. And you're going to need 12 of them. That's going to give us six for each layer or each row of petals on our flower. So once you cut them apart, you're going to take one of your individual triangles and all you're going to do is trim off um, two of the corners. It doesn't matter which two. I use the top two um, from the banner, but it doesn't really matter. So you just trim it off around the corners like this, and you can see you get this really cute petal shape, and it's super easy. But the next thing we want to do is actually remove the adhesive, because I don't want the petals of my flowers to stick together. I actually don't want the adhesive on the back. The neat thing is, once you trim off the corners, the adhesive layer just peels right off, and you get this super shiny, glossy layer that's perfect for uh, flowers. It's actually really beautiful. So once again, I'll just show you again. So I'll just pick up my uh, little triangle and I'm just gonna round off the corners just like this. And then the other one, like that. And then once we've got those corners cut off, we just peel apart the adhesive backing from the ribbon and we'll go ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the rest of them. You don't need to watch me cut 12 of them, um, but then I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so it's time to put it together now. So you're gonna need some sort of adhesive and your circle. I'm gonna use a glue gun for this, but you can use any kind of dry adhesive. And then what we're gonna do is just take six of your petals and just place them sort of around your circle, especially the first time that you do this. You wanna get a sense of how far apart you're gonna put your petals. Um, and you can see that there's actually quite a bit of space in between the first layer. And this is going to be the bottom layer of petals. And that's okay because we're actually going to fill in the space with the next layer of petals. So don't worry if they seem like really spaced out and if you think to yourself, wow, this doesn't really look like a flower. So I'm just going to take my glue gun. Again, you can use any kind of dry adhesive here. I just like the speed and the ease of the glue gun. Um, but of course, every adhesive comes with its challenges and the glue gun of course comes with the little strings that will just like this that will come off of it so as you're working with your flower if you're using the glue gun just kind of pull off these strings as you go along um, and you'll have kind of a cleaner project but it will get a little cumbersome as we go around here but it'll um, speed up the video by using the glue gun a glue dot would work here as well really easily um, and you wouldn't have the problem with all the strings here i just wouldn't recommend a liquid adhesive just because we are going to layer the petals you want to make sure that they stay in place immediately as you're working um, so liquid adhesive unless it's a really fast dry and you are really patient it's probably going to work better 
um, if you're using a dry adhesive here. All right, so we'll put the last one kind of down there. Perfect. So that's the first layer, and I'm just going to clean off all of my strings here so that we don't get everything all messed up on the next layer. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our next layer of petals. These are exactly the same size, but we're going to kind of create the illusion of smaller petals simply by placing them further in. So in between the spaces that I've created with the first row and slightly in from where I placed my first row down, that's where I'm going to put this second layer of petals. And again, just like we did with the first one, we're just going to go all the way around, just trying to keep your spacing even as we come around here. So we'll finish off with these petals. Um, I've created these flowers in pretty much every single color that I have so far. And once you've done the first one, you can get one flower done pretty much in less than five minutes. Um, if you cut, especially if you cut a whole bunch of your petals all at once. So it's a really super fast um, embellishment. And I think these would look really pretty on um, a present or a gift bag as well. I made a headband for my dot one of my daughters that I'll show you at the end as well with one of these. All right, so let's keep going around here just with these last petals. And then the very last one. So you can already see by the time you get to kind of these last few petals, the flower kind of taking shape and really starting to look like something. So there we go, the petals are all on. It's really as easy as that. You're just kind of rounding them around. And if you're using your glue gun, just take off any of those little threads of glue that have that you've kind of got going there. And then I'm just gonna bend the cardstock a little bit to create a little bit of shape and definition for my flower. And we're ready to embellish the middle part. This is actually my favorite part of creating these flowers because you can make every single one look different, even though you're using the same technique, which is totally fun. So I'm using a product called Liquid Pearls, um, and it creates kind of this creamy, it has this creamy texture in the middle that you can create kind of shapes and stuff with. So all I'm doing is going around in a circle and just adding little dots of the liquid pearls. And it's it's hard to see in the in the video, but what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling as I press it down onto the cardstock, I'm pulling up and away and it's creating kind of this little tip or this little point to kind of give the middle of the flower uh, this kind of pointy textured look. Um, with the liquid pearls as I go around. And now I'm just kind of going, I started on the outside layer, and now I'm just going around on the inside layer, just like this. And all you're trying to do is fill up the space created by the cardstock in the middle of the flower. So hopefully you can kind of see what that looks like there. And it's really as easy as that in terms of fitting on, finishing off the middle of the flower. And last but not least, we are going to take some of the leaves ribbon. So it comes on a strand like this, and I've just trimmed off two of the leaves. And all we're going to do is just take some of our glue, again, um, hot glue or a glue dot, and we're just going to attach a leaf onto the back here. And one leaf is fine. I just like two leaves because it gives kind of more of a layered effect on the flower, just like that. And there you go. You've got this beautiful little flower embellishment that you can use on all sorts of different projects. Don't be afraid to manhandle it a bit to give it a little more definition and shape. The cardstock will hold a nice shape for you as you bend it. Um, the addition of the glue as well will give it lots of stability. So there you go. A beautiful little flower that you can use to embellish pretty much just about any kind of project you can think of. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial from May Arts on using the new one inch adhesive flag banner ribbon to create a little flower embellishment. And I hope you're inspired to use maybe your trim in a little bit of a different or unexpected way. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to come visit us over at the website or on Pinterest, Facebook and all sorts of other social media platforms.